Hey guys, AJ Hazzy here and welcome back to another episode of our Vantage West Realty video blog. Today we're gonna to keep going with the questions and answers. And uh, the first question comes from a good client, Beth. She wants to know, I'm putting in a rental suite. What should I make sure is in the suite to ensure that I get a great tenant? So I would say number one, make sure it has a bathtub. That opens it up to people that have kids. Make sure it has a dishwasher because when it comes down to a unit that maybe they're looking at two units, if one has a dishwasher and one doesn't, definitely the one with the dishwasher is going to be great. And I would say also put in, not laminate flooring anymore, I've learned that lesson, I would put in the, um, it's a vinyl product that looks just like laminate floor but you can, uh, you can put it down with very little, you don't need saws and you don't need to clip it all together. It just sticks right down. And if, uh, if anything ever gets cut or damaged, you can pop it off and it's totally waterproof. And it works out to about $3 a square foot, but you don't have the big install cost. Uh, second question, when flipping a property, what are the three most important improvements other than kitchen and uh, bathrooms? Well, the first thing that you wanna do is change the flooring. Obviously, flooring and paint and baseboards and trim is going to give you the biggest visual bang for your buck. And then what most people often overlook is the curb appeal. The curb appeal is so important. Spending two or three thousand dollars outside to make sure that uh, there's you know fresh paint and there isn't overgrown bushes and all of that stuff makes that uh, initial entry seem so much more uh, uh, well cared for and allows you to draw a much higher sale price. And uh, our third question and uh, a frustration that's probably shared by many people looking to purchase investment real estate is, AJ, where are all the deals? How come there's no inventory? How am I supposed to uh, buy a property if there's no deals? And this is interesting because a lot of people are saying to me, there's no deals out there, there's no deals. Well, the simple fact is any listing on the MLS can be a deal. It's A deal is what we negotiate. Just because they're not listed at a price that represents a significant um, you know, below market value price doesn't mean that there isn't deals to be had. Deals are what we negotiate them to be. In fact, if they were listed below market, there would be multiple offers on them within, you know, with, with, within 24 hours, there'd be 10 offers and it would go for $50,000 over list. So be thankful that some of these homes are sitting there. Look for the homes that have a hundred days or more on the market. Look for the ones that are vacant. Look for the ones that are uh, a probate sale. Look for foreclosures. There's all kinds of deals, but again, a deal is what we negotiate it to be. So if you're looking for a deal, by all means, give me a call. I'm not afraid to make a, a low ball offer on anything. Hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll be back to you in a couple of weeks answering a few more of your questions. As usual, if you wanna use our search tool, it's right here on the video blog. And if you're interested in what your home might be worth, market is definitely going up. Things are crazy out there might owe it to yourself to check out what your home value is right here on the video blog as well. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye for now.